everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you all a get ready with me it's going to be very interesting as i'm going to share with you all my looks my simple tips and tricks how i pleat my sari and this is mainly during my graduation so this look was during my graduation so i thought of just showing y'all how i did this it's very simple and easy and i want all of you to try it out and if you're new around here make sure to subscribe to my channel down below so that you get all my notifications and you're part of my family so without any further ado let's get started first here i take a cloth and try to clean my face so that all the dirt and impurities just go off and then i after prepping my skin i just apply a little foundation and blend it all the makeup is very very simple look and i've done it very fast so that you all can just look at everything at one glimpse and then i'll just blend it and be back and then i'm using the purple compact and setting my face because if you don't set your face there'll be a lot of oil production and your makeup will crease and all that will happen so make sure to do it and i'll just be back after blending it now i'm doing my brows with the help of the swiss beauty eyebrow pencil it's in the shade dark brown It's a very nice pencil to shade the eyebrows. I don't do it very dark, but very light. And now using the Dazzler Itex eyeliner, I do a wing eyeliner which is very simple and nice but makes the eye look bold. And also I did my kajal. And then using this pink shade from the Hilary Roda palette, I did my blush too. And now I'm just using the same cloth that I wipe my face and rubbing my lips to remove any dead skin cells or uneven uh, skin so that it my lipstick will look flawless. and i'm using two shades of lipstick in order to get a beautiful shade first i put the pink and then i'm going to take a little bit of the purple tint so that i get a nice pink shade i want a pink shade for this and i do not have the exact and i thought why not to mix two you can do this with any lipstick to get an amazing color and blend it this really well only when you blend your lipstick looks very nice and this is how my lipstick looks it looks very natural this is what i wanted and for my sari this is my graduation sari this is given to us by our school itself we have to get it just from them and i just wore my sari a little and from i'm showing you from the pleats of from the bottom pleats so i first take little by little portions and start pleating it As you all know pleats are very simple and easy but make sure to do it in equal length when you do it in equal length you get a perfect pleat and it looks so professional so make sure to nicely pleat it till the end how much ever you want and then tuck in the extras and tuck in the total pleat and make sure to use a pin and secure it otherwise you will have lot of uncomfortabilities and it might also fall come out so make sure to secure it tightly with a pin and this will work great so i'm using a little big size pin in order to secure it and then i adjust the position of everything and i can see that it's perfectly done and now i'm going to do pallu part so first i take the pallu it has a designer border so make sure however you want you can do it but i'm doing a floating today so i'm using a pin you can see it's a little big size pin use and secure it make sure to secure it so you feel confident enough to do anything don't be uh, telling that it's okay you no need to pin it but pin it it will always be sturdy and then i adjust the extras by tucking inside and adjusting everything and then i catch the pallu in my hand as i'm leaving at as a floating so you should leave the border and then take small small sections you can see how i'm pinching like that small sections and look beautiful like a waterfall layer and it's very nice and beautiful you can just leave it like that and yeah this is a final look of how i wore my sari this it looks very nice if you wear like this and i did a french braid for this that was a code for our uh, dressing sari and french braid so this is the blouse it's a tier shape it's a boat neck blouse with short sleeves and it's very nice so this is how i did it and yeah this is a final look It's a simple sari but yet it looks very nice and now for my face I'm going to use the earrings to make it more brighter and you can see this earrings is little nice and bold and makes the face look amazing and glossy and it because it has a silver border it matches with it really well but for my graduation I had to put it into a pin pin pleats I could not leave it as floating so I pinned it just like this you can see like this neat and nice will also look amazing with it it will look very perfect and neat so this is a final look 
Hope you all guys enjoyed the full get ready with me. If you did, don't forget to comment down below if you want more such interesting videos. And I really loved and enjoyed while making this video. Hope you all also enjoyed while making this, while watching this video. And yeah, you can see the final look. This is how I looked after the entire thing was done. My makeup, my jewelry, my sari, and everything was just perfectly blending with one another. And yeah, these are the final result. And these are some pictures that I took during my graduation time, and the background and all is from there. So hope you all enjoyed the video. That's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed, and if you did. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you want more such videos on Get Ready With Me, don't forget to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and let's see in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.